Hello, and welcome back to Wandering with Wilfred. I am your host, Wilfred, and today we will be wandering through the Pasadena Shears Trail, located in Pasadena, Newfoundland, and Labrador. Newfoundland is linguistically diverse, reflecting its rich history and cultural influences. English is the language most spoken, spoken with a distinct accent, characterized by unique vocabulary and pronunciation patterns that blend influences from Irish, Scottish, and West Country English. French is also spoken by a small minority, particularly on the Port-a-Port -Port Peninsula, where the Francophone community maintains its language and traditions. In some areas, you might also find remnants of indigenous languages, such as Mi'kmaq, reflecting the island's indigenous heritage. Newfoundland has its own unique dialect of English, often referred to as Newfoundland English or New Finnese. It features distinct pronunciation, grammar, and a colorful array of words and expressions not found elsewhere. Scoff means a meal, and by is a term of endearment often used to address someone, regardless of gender. Phrases like, long may your big jib draw, are a blend of nautical language and local culture, meaning, may you have good fortune. These linguistic quirks give Newfoundland its distinctive character and play a vital role in preserving its cultural identity. If you have liked these videos so far, consider subscribing and sharing with friends and family. Your support helps me in my journey to embark on more adventures. Letting go of sentimental clutter can be challenging because the items we hold on to often carry emotional significance. These objects might remind us of loved ones, special moments, or significant achievements. However, when our homes become filled with too many of these items, it can create unnecessary clutter that overwhelms our living space. To tackle this, it's important to recognize that memories aren't tied to physical objects. By understanding that the emotions and memories associated with these items will remain with us even if the objects are gone, we can begin to separate our feelings from the physical clutter. One effective strategy is to be selective about what you choose to keep. Instead of holding onto every item with sentimental value, focus on preserving a few meaningful pieces that truly capture the essence of your memories. You might keep one favorite memento from a vacation instead of every souvenir. That way you can honor the memory without overwhelming your space. You can also take photos of sentimental items before letting them go, so you still have a visual reminder of the item without needing to keep the physical object. Another helpful method is to repurpose or display sentimental items in a way that integrates them into your daily life. If you have a collection of old letters, you could frame a few of the most meaningful ones and hang them on a wall. This allows you to enjoy the memories associated with those items regularly, rather than storing them away where they might be forgotten. By finding creative ways to incorporate sentimental items into your environment, you can keep your memories alive while maintaining a clutter-free space. It's important to shift your mindset towards valuing experiences over possessions. By creating space in your home, you also create space for new experiences and opportunities. This doesn't mean you have to let go of everything, but rather that you're making a conscious choice to prioritize the present and future over the past. 
As you let go of excess sentimental clutter, you may find that you feel lighter, more at peace, and more open to new experiences. This balance between honoring your past and embracing the present can lead to a more fulfilling and clutter-free life. If you like the video, please give that like button a little paw tap, subscribe for more four-legged adventures, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a future video. Tail wags and happy trails. Embark on the journey with us. Find our images, pins, and postcards. Own these treasures and join our wander. Let's venture together.